What's going on, my peoples? My peoples. Man, happy Sunday to y'all, by the way. Um, hope y'all had a great weekend. And I know a lot of y'all probably went to church this morning after this long weekend. Um, man, I had a pretty cool weekend, man, I will say. Good work week. Uh, everything worked out at work. No stress. And, uh, man, Friday night, let me tell y'all. The Houston Rodeo had the Black Heritage Night, and uh, Bun B performed, and man, he probably bought over 20 entertainers. And these are like some classic artists out of Houston. Man, when I tell y'all they rocked the house, it was, it was, it was, it was, man, it was so lit. It, I mean, I'm, I'm speechless on telling you how good this show was. If you've never been to the rodeo, I mean, you don't even have to go see the horses if that's not your thing. But you have to go to the concerts. Man, I will tell you, they put on some good concerts. And it's 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 family oriented. You can bring your family. You don't have to worry about, you know, any 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 bad uh, press as far as your kids. Um, for the most part, uh, they kept the uh, the lyrics clean. Uh, was like, you know, rap artists, of course, they kept the lyrics clean, clean as they could. Let me say that. But it wasn't to the point to where you would have been offended or felt disrespected. Um, or, you know, sitting there holding your kid ears like this here. Nah. But you it, you have to put that on your bucket list. Um, and, and attend that thing, man. I, I swear it's a treat. Um... Other than that, now, shoot, I'm heading to uh, to the store real quick, and then I'm going to head on over to basketball practice. Um, I coach AAU basketball as well. Um, you know, I, 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 I want to encourage parents to get these kids more involved in sports, especially in the summer, because, you know, it takes their mind off of um, – sitting at home coming up with things not of substance and it keep them out of trouble my only gripe is these school districts and churches you know we're trying to help you and you're not helping us and what i mean is you will not open your schools to allow us to do some community service because it is community service to coach we're not getting paid a lot of money not getting paid much but the whole objective is to give back and to teach a skill and for me I not only teach basketball I'm, I'm personal I'm, I'm, I'm a counselor, I'm a dad, I'm everything so I, I teach my girls about life, I coach girls I teach them about life and, and everything on the court that I teach I compare it to life it's going to be hard in practice some days I'm a ride your tail. But you have to ask yourself, are you gonna quit? Or are you gonna keep pushing forward? So that's that's the lesson in that when I'm riding them at, at practice. And sometimes I ride them just to do it. But I also preach the lesson that's coming out of it. But back to the schools, if we can keep these kids occupied, I think we can keep them out of trouble. I honestly think we can get the crime down a little bit. It's not going to erase it, but we can get the crime down a little bit. Um, and I think that that'll be a start. Um, but just not allowing us to help you is, is not helping the cause and it's not helping the kids. So, you know, any educators out there watching this, I, I, I would ask that you encourage your schools to, to help us help them. Um, because you got to remember, we are the adult figures that they respect. And we see what you get at school, but we might be the one to get through to them. You know? And by us getting through, we can help them channel that bad energy. Or talk to them about being around the wrong people. How being around the wrong people can affect your life. 